Alright guys, actually Sloppy here. Um, I'm going to do a last minute review on these. Um, I've been having some problems with my computer here. Um, I use Windows Movie Maker to put all my clips together and stuff. So to, I'll probably get out my plinking video by tomorrow or sometimes this week. But um, something I did in that video that I or did in that video I really wanted to do was do a quick review on these pellets. Clean this up real quick. Put my phone down here. Anyway, these um daisy pellets they're 1770 caliber. 177, 4.5, whatever you call them. Um, I looked these up on the internet and these are Daisy Dial or something, dial and go. I don't know, you could go just go to pyramidair.com. Um, I'll probably put, I'm definitely going to put their in the description. Um, I'm also going to put in a couple of videos I think you guys should definitely check out, no matter what. If you're just looking on reviews, but definitely should check them out. They're Ed Gun USA videos, um, and it's a couple of Junior Squirrel videos. They're um, both YouTubers. Junior Squirreler is a little bit smaller than Ed Gun, but um, Ed Gun's kind of bigger. He gets um, air guns sent for, to him for to review from everybody, Crosman, Benjamin. Well, Crosman and Benjamin are the same company, but um, FX, um, Day State, all those guys. But here's a quick review on them. It's um, three pellets, and as the name consists, the dial is right here. Just set these down real quick. Let's see, right here. I don't exactly know what this right here plays a purpose for. Um, I kind of caved this in when I first got them. But, uh, don't make a bit of difference to me now. Um, this is from my plinking gun, my Crossman, um, my Crossman Puppmaster 760. Um, in that plinking video, you will see it and how much I complain about the scope. So, all you do is you lift it up. I can't share that on the camera, but grab one of these pellets. Huh, never mind. Here is their pointed pellet. Nothing fancy. Let's see if I can zoom here a little. Right there. Perfect. Right there. Okay, perfect. And then you slide along further. I'm going clockwise, which is right to left. They have flat nose pellets, um, as most of you guys know them. I ca call them um, wad cutters, as most um, air gun shooters do. Sorry, I keep watching on the camera to make sure you guys can see. Makes me fumble with my pellets because this has lag time for me. See, here's the wad cutter. Point of pellet, wad cutter. I think these are 7.9 grains that could be he heavier or lighter depending on which one you're talking about or they could be lighter depending on which one next are hollow points now you gotta check these things out move this over sorry about lighting if this shows up bad for you guys on my camera it shows it's pretty bright um, just in case I can turn on this extra light I don't know if that affected you guys so much but this is the Weirdest hollow point I've ever seen. So I'm gonna take these little cheer guys aside. Get a little over top. Look, that's right here. It's got the skin of it, or like not the skin, the metal or the lead on it pulled up, and then there's the little hollow point in there. What I'm used to is the Benjamin, the Benjamin and Crossman pellets, Crossman Premier hollow points. I haven't, I didn't find those, um, it's been about six months since I've shot, anyhow, since my grandparents haven't been up, so I can't get to their, make, my makeshift range I have there, so I had to close those pellet, the pellet thing, but anyway, um, I'll have to find those, do a little review on those as well, also show you my cousins, um, they have the Daisy Red Riders, Alright, sorry, I messed up with the camera here. But, yeah, back to these. These, um, the pointed pellets, 
right here. These are designed for hunting purposes and um, penetration. See that point right there? Right there, yeah. Um, what that does is when it hits the, um, the target, it just keeps driving through. Now that flat nose right here is just for planking and stuff. Uh, it's not used in target competitions, I don't think. Um, I don't think they're the most accurate appellas, nor are they the most aerodynamic. Um, these are not designed for hunting. Um, I mean, pest control and maybe a rat with a brake barrel, as you might hear me say when I get that plinking video set up. But these aren't really designed for anything bigger than a target, <laughs> per se. And then on the last right... Here, where is my finger on here? Alright, right there. The hollow points. Hollow points are, um, and dome defellas are what I consider more of a longer range to overall hunting pellet. Um, the pointed pellets here, as you might hear, um, see if my camera focus back here. Ooh, zoom. Alright, here, I'm gonna cut this short so I'm Alright, got these focused back in. Sorry, this is a little stupid three segment, but my lens is practically touching the pellets right now. So anyway, um, I don't have any dome pellets. It does not come with the little dial thing from Daisy, but I will definitely have to get some for my Crossman Pumpmaster 760. I'm also thinking about getting a Benjamin Discovery uh, 22 cal for hunting and, of course, plinking. Um, as you'll hear me say often, I do not recommend the 177 for hunting at all, unless you're just doing pest control, like um, shooting rats or m mice or even shooting birds. But um, I don't recommend it for squirrels unless you have a pretty decent air rifle. Like the Benjamin Trail MPXL. Um, people give it a lot of... Just hate it basically for the um, triggers. I mean, I haven't shot one, but... What I heard all you gotta do is... Um, replace it, or... I mean, some people don't think find it too bad, so... And I can't consider it terrible since I've never shot one, but... I don't know. Anyway... So yeah, a 177 caliber Benjamin Trail MPXO would be probably the ideal break barrel air gun for pest control because I think it's putting around about 18 foot pounds of energy. That's going to be pretty um, normal for a higher powered 177 break barrel air gun. Um, anyway, so um, if you go into the PCP world. Um, 20 foot pounds or more could uh, depending on which one you get the discovery benjamin discovery 177 probably gets around oh 17 or 18 foot pounds like the trail but anyway so that's basically a wrap on these um i just wanted to do a quick review um i haven't done exactly an accuracy test i did more of a just like see how well they performed it was like eight feet away so that's like two and a half um, yards away um, I find that <coughs> they fragmented like crazy as you will see in the planking video um, there are fragments everywhere so I mean these are definitely not for close range by any means but what I have found with 177 caliber pellets as they do like to mash themselves up I'll show you why um, if you didn't see, I have a video, and I'll probably put a link to it in the description. These were all recovered from my little shooting board that I also cover in the planking video. It covers a lot of stuff. I recommend you watch it when I get it out. But anyway, here are BBs I've shot. They don't deform at all. But I do not recommend putting them back in your gun to shoot, as it could cause internal damage. Anyway... This right here was a hollow point, I'm pretty sure. But this is a point of pellet for sure. And what you can see is on all of these, this what happens is the skirt, like when the front of the pellet hits, say it's a point of pellet, it hits right 
right here. Here, let me set the camera down so I can give more of a... Okay, so the pellet, here's your pellet. Here's what you're hitting. This right here, you know what, let me see if I can hold it up. All right, about there, yeah. All right, just making sure you can see my hands. Anyway, here's your pellet. Here's your hit. When it hits, boom, and then the pellet, or the skirt, just shams forward, making it expand, or the pellet, or the pellet skirt, just go crazy. So that's how you get all these weird looking pellets. It's also why I recommend getting higher calibers, as um, higher calibers usually penetrate a lot better than the 177 will, causing less deformities, as these pellets are. But yeah, it's a wrap, guys. Um, it's night here, um, up in Ohio here. Um, just catching in this last little video, so I'll see you.